Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Escapes. Today's beverage is a very cloudy, botanically brewed lemonade. Very uh, acidic, actually, indeed. Either way, welcome back to Prison Architect Escapes. This is a series where I attempt to break out of facilities not made by me. This is the oil rig prison, so named because it looks a bit like an oil rig, and we're going to try and escape from it. Or rather, Elric, prisoner number 2510218, will try and escape from it. Uh, this, incidentally, was another prison that someone has sent over to me, so plus 10 generic appreciation points for that. As always, if you want to send things over, then put the name of the uh, file in the comments or just email it over check the about page for that either way this is already looking interesting on a couple of fronts firstly it is a water bound prison so we are surrounded by water furthermore we were brought in by a helicopter that could prove to be a problem because I'm noticing a perimeter wall on the outside which means we can't break through it. Fire won't do anything because there's no foundation. And apparently we're being scattered from one place to another for reasons. Okay. I mean, I could analyse the security further, but frankly, there's almost no point because, well... It's... <laughs> they've got body armour and they've got tasers, but we can't break out. Hmm. I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly... Just going to farm a couple of points here before we skip that punishment. Um, I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that uh, basically the only way out is uh, via tunneling. I don't think that's unreasonable to assume. Even if we've got a set of keys, it wouldn't help. It, it just wouldn't help. Because we can't get anywhere. Anyway, I'm just farming some points because I'm going to get quick. And I will actually go to sleep, because why not? Right, so I'm just going to farm some points until I get swimming, because almost certainly this is going to involve... Well, I hate to say it, it's going to be another tunnel episode, but it's probably going to be the most difficult tunnel episode we've done, and it actually might not even be possible. I, I saw the helicopter ride on the way, and there wasn't any land around the outside, so this is a fully water-bound facility. It is, a, a te it is like you say, oil rig. Um, okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. All I'm doing is just, like I say, doing the the standard procedure of farming enough points to try and get... Uh, well, I'm going to get very quick and very swimming. <laughs> so we need a total of 11 points for that now. So I've got 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, a couple more here. Oh, sorry about that, worker. We are high risk, by the way. This is a high risk and technically a death row facility. I know people have asked me to do a death row escape. Um, I have tried it in the past the issue is that if you're death row you just can't do anything you can't leave the you can't leave that cell it work it just works differently okay so we're gonna have a recce and i'm noticing yeah that is oh that is a, a almost a pixel of gray at the top which indicates that there, that's there's no land to dig to you can dig underwater like a flooded tunnel but oh look at that there yep the problem is that you can dig underwater, but you can't dig up. Hmm. I mean, I was going to say something along the lines of, well, look, this is quite insecure in places. We've got free access to the water and power generation. In the middle, this is where we've got the helicopter. You can't steal that, sadly. Um, we've got the armory right here. It is staff only. So we could just, if we were for someone to go in, we could just go in and grab a shotgun. But what would that afford us? Absolutely nothing. We can't use a shotgun to get out through the wall, as far as I'm aware. We have a workshop, totally unsecured by metal detectors. So I could just grab something <laughs> and take it out. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually seeing any metal detectors whatsoever. Is a hammer a digging implement, by the way? It is a digging tool, yeah. So, it's not something I often even contemplate because it's metal and normally there's a metal detector right there. But there isn't here. There is visitation, though, with a checkpoint that I can go around. We've got... Here's the death row on the left. We've got a laundry. So, we've got a laundry here with one rope. On the right-hand side, that's a gymnasium with two ropes. We've got a kitchen with three items in there that we can dig from. Okay, I mean... <laughs> needless to say, then... We can dig. Okay. I mean, 
shall I just dig this way? Here's the problem, right? That if we dig this way, almost certainly the tunnel will be detected. I mean, I'm just going to do it anyway, just for a laugh. Just to see how far we can get. <laughs> and actually, a detection of the tunnel is sort of something we want. And that might sound a bit silly, but hear me out. So, if we're digging through the water, we cannot... Probably wouldn't be better to dig to the left and then up or something. Um, but we're on this path now. We're going to keep going. Um, yeah, if we were to dig through the water... Sounds a bit crazy. Or under the water. Um, oh, there's that dog. They're going to detect that. I better get more digging implements quickly. <laughs> this, uh, this is just a, a bit of a test, actually. Um, yeah, if we were to dig through the water, as I said, several times now, in fact, what would happen is we get to a point where they didn't detect that tunnel. Why did they not detect that tunnel? They didn't detect it. They're not detecting the tunnel. Okay, then. Hmm. Yeah. If the tunnels are detected while you're in it, you get kicked out. Which means if you're underwater, I would assume, perhaps wrongly, that you can then... Uh, and you can then basically go from there. But I don't know if this is possible, actually. They didn't detect the tunnel. And that might be because of... Well, I don't know. Is the mutators for that? There are mutators for... Ah! If escape plans are turned off... Ah! <laughs> All right, okay. Ah... Uh. The words of Jurassic Park. Clever girl. Okay. All right. I think I'm picking up what the game's putting down here. So, that dog is not detecting the tunnel. There's been multiple attempts of it going back and forward. It ain't detected it. Which means, if we check the mutators first, I don't think there's going to be any mutators. Um, extras, mutators. Only permanent days on. I'm guessing the map settings. Yep, no escape plans. Enables escape options for prisoners and now attempt to climb over your walls when trying to escape. It says in more escape options. Okay. Alright. So because there's none of that because that's not activated <laughs> Even if there is a dog patrolling here, they're not they don't care. The game doesn't it's not aware that it's even possible at this stage. That's my that's my theory on this one. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty clever because that means that this prison is actually impossible to escape from without me turning that on. So we're going to exploit that because of course we are. Now they can detect the tunnels by the way. If they see me jumping out I think what happens is the tunnel is immediately removed. Like they don't have to sniff it out, find it and then the workers fix it. I'm fairly confident that's how it works. But what I'm going to do is try and get through this perimeter wall. And let's see, we've got Swimmer, we need Swimmer, and we need Quick. And I have a cunning plan. It, well, actually, it might not be that cunning, it might be absolutely ridiculous, but this is my plan. So this, we're at the water now, okay? And you're thinking, okay, yeah, what can you do? Why don't you just dig up? Well, I'm going to dig to the end, and what will happen is, if my memory serves, we get here, and you think, oh, just dig up. You can't. You can stash contraband but you cannot dig up. You can actually walk off the edge of the map, <laughs> but you cannot dig up. All right. So what does that mean for us to escape? Well, what it means is at the moment we can't. But I can't live with that. Extras, map settings, escape plans. Did it go on? It is on. Escape plans is now on. Why did I get my breath back? That's curious. I'm not getting my breath back. But what I'm doing, I want the dog to detect the tunnel. Alright. Because when they detect the tunnel, then they have to fill it in. Can I not dig up? I'm just going to double check this. Uh, to the edge. Definitely can't do that. 
No. All right. I'm gonna try something a bit ridiculous. There's the dog. We're back in, and I'm standing here. We know that that dog's gonna come this way. So I'm listening for. There you go. <laughs> And that's how you get out of the unescapable. Right. Prison Architect escapes. Elric. 18 hours and 42 minutes. Yeah. If they didn't detect that tunnel, we would not be able to get out. The map is very secure. I don't know how artificial it is, but it's, you know, we'll give it credit. It's very secure. Um, the dog going back and forward in the cell block... They didn't detect that tunnel multiple times, which I'm guessing is because, as I said, the escape plans were off in the settings. As soon as we put it on, and that dog went across there and detected it, that tunnel was immediately removed. The workers didn't come along to do it, but because we were in the tunnel under the water, we got kicked out, which means we were then swimming outside the perimeter wall, we then got out. So, I guess, is this a bit of an exploit? Like, the saver's standard is probably inescapable. Unless there's some edge case scenario I'm uh, not thinking about. Hench, why they're edge cases. Um, or there might be something completely obvious. Either way, let me know in the comments what you think about this escape, about the altering of the settings, and what you would do better, uh, or differently, to break out with this one. As always, if you have any tips, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments. And if you have any designs you want me to check out, leave the name or the link in the uh, comments as well. Or drop me an email, check the about page for that. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.